right away we know who we are. Um, first thing we're gonna do, like any other, any, any regular fire, we're gonna do it. So what did we do earlier? He's gonna check, he's, so he checks it for heat. So he's gonna check. So he checks. No heat. No heat. So now, what does he do? These guys, you guys are set up ready to attack. Now he tries. Okay, so he tries, you know, tries before you run, right? It's locked. Okay, so now we know, okay, we're gonna have to force, force entry. So he takes the halogen bar. Where the ads is, so where the, the striking point of the ads is, he's gonna shock the door. So the next step is shock. So he's gonna shock, he's gonna hit here, here, and here. And what that does is it potentially could, like I said, when we actually, when we did it on the start of our last year, JP, when he shocked it, he almost knocked the door open just doing that. So he shocks the door. Maybe we, maybe we pop it there. Maybe we pop. So now we're gonna gap the door. So this is where the second person is coming. So, uh, Ash. In, in many of the fire manuals, they show you to run a door like this. Right, every single time, every single time. This way it doesn't give you as much uh, leverage. And it also, what potentially happens, if you do this, it does exactly what just happened. You didn't even get enough, uh, you didn't get enough in there, and it'll just pop out. Okay, so there's potential to just slide out, or maybe just rip in a little bit of the, the frame up. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna, we can actually five times the number of people get when we do it the other way. Okay, so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna gap it by bringing it upwards. So what that does is it makes the ads turn on end like this, and that's what gaps our door. So I say gap, that's where you gap it and get it a little bit open. And a lot of times that's more than enough just to pop that a lot. So you have JP in there. So once they set up, once we've done all the other things, so we we check the door, we we try the door, get it open, we shop the door, now our partner steps in, we're gonna go find it down. So if you see when Ash sets up for the breach, he sits, he goes down on his knee, and we're not swinging like a baseball bat, because Ash will swing like a baseball bat on that thing. If he misses, it's potential hitting JP. So he's actually gonna hit it on like on a vertical plane, not a horizontal plane. Okay, and then the, the three the three commands we're gonna follow are hit, drive, and stop. That's all we're gonna do. So and he runs that. So the, the person holding the tool runs runs that. So he he sets up, he's gonna give the command, he's gonna say hit. Once it's kind of set, then he can say drive. This door, like I said, it's kind of bent, so it's gonna be it's probably gonna set right away, but we're training sake, we'll we'll go hit, 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 drive. When he says drive, Ash is just gonna go for it. Boom, 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 until he says stop. Okay, so we'll go ahead. Hit, 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 drive. Okay, so in reality, like a real door, it would, be now be, it would now be set in there. So now JP, he's gonna, he's gonna crouch down, get that right up on his shoulder, and he's gonna use that leverage, and now he's gonna pop up. And see how that pops the door right over. He, he grabs it right away, closes it, and then we get ready for the attack, just like we did earlier. If the door is a little bit uh, tighter, like we say we didn't break the door right away, once he gaps it, now he can turn, turn it around the other way, pushes that, pushes the force, then he may need to, he may need his partner to drive him in again, same thing we just did. And as you can see, when he's, when he's pushing this way, he can actually use the, uh, the pick as a little bit of a hammer. He can drive that in. And that's why I've opened the door as well. So a real door, do you want to be right at the deadbolt or do you want to be above or below? It, I mean, yeah, anywhere in that kind of area because yeah. you're, you're trying to pop the, where the lock is, right? When you're shocking it, uh, you know, if there's like multiple locks inside, you actually kind of time where you can kind of feel like, yeah, you oh, feel there's the lots of play up here, yeah. it's solid here, and it's solid at the bottom. It could be a lock on the bottom or board yeah. or whatever. Down, pin below, yeah. So it kind of gives you the idea. So, yeah. 